All right, so our last day with keeping your cool is show what you know. So before, I gave you a lot of different things that you could do. I gave you the eight different multiple intelligences, right? Today, I'm only going to use one just to give you a better example of an idea that you could use. So one of the things that I really love, love is interpersonal or people smart, which means that I like interacting with other people. So so one thing that I've always wanted to do is be a reporter where I get to interview famous people or people that I really admire. So since my daughter Nia seems to love Paw Patrol, she was actually going to have a Paw Patrol birthday party. I had these costumes that are going to just sit here, so we might as well use them. So I'm going to pretend like I'm interviewing Marshall from Paw Patrol. And then, hi Marshall. <laughs> it's Marshall from Paw Patrol. Awesome. All right, I'm going to be the reporter. Hello, this is Rachel reporting from Social Skills News. Marshall, I hear that you get angry quite often. Is this true? Rough. Yes, it is. Marshall, when is it that you get mad or angry? When my brothers eat all of my food. Ooh, that doesn't sound very good. All right, so I just learned all week this really cool social skill called keeping your cool. Would you like me to teach you? That would be awesome. Oh. So now I'm going to teach Marshall all about the social skill. All right, ready, Marshall? First thing you're going to do is you're going to make a mad meatball. So you're going to do this. You're going to put your hands together. Try not to squash your nose, Marshall. And you're going to squeeze all that anger out. Doesn't that feel better? Yeah. I bet you feel less clumsy. Come over here, Marshall. There you go. All right, the second thing you're gonna do is count to 10. Why don't we bark in roughs? Okay. Ready, go. Rough. One. Rough. Two. Rough. Three. Rough. Four. Rough. Five. Rough. Six. Rough. Seven. Rough. Eight. Rough. Nine. Rough. 10. Oh, that was nice. That calms down our mind. Then we're gonna take a rising breath. So we're gonna put our hand on our little puppy chest. We're gonna breathe in. For three seconds, we're gonna hold it for three, and then we're gonna breathe out for three seconds. That was a really good rough, rough rising breath. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use our words. We're going to use the word I. Can you say I? I. And then we're going to either tell them that we feel mad by saying I feel mad, or we're going to tell them what they did that we didn't like. I didn't like it when. So do you want to try it? I'm going to get my microphone back because I've always wanted to have a microphone. I didn't like it when you ate my food. Oh, Marshall, you did such a good job. Marshall, it was a pleasure interviewing. My, you are a hairy pup. That is, look at that. Ugh. All right. Thank you so much for being in this interview. Bye, Marshall. So that's just an example. I chose to interview Marshall because I happen to have a Marshall head hanging around. But you can interview your mom or your dad or you can pretend like you're interviewing your favorite cartoon character. You can interview a sports star and imagine what they would say. That would be what I would do to show my people smarts in my show what you know this week. Let's see what you're going to come up with.